Hello guys, a uh, quick uh, video on my current deck list. Uh, I'll keep it short. Uh, I have not changed, I have changed a couple of things for the current format. Uh, also, uh, this deck list, you can change it, of course. It's uh, like depending on what your preferences are at your locals, you may want to main deck different cards. But uh, this is my current deck list. I run uh, triple Diviner, triple Nadir, triple uh, Prosperity, triple Ecclesia now, because I noticed like you want more of those impactful cards, and Ecclesia is one of the impactful ones. One Maximus. Uh, I'm trying to use Maximus a little bit more frequent because he is such a strong card, and people don't play too much Dogmatica stuff or uh, should all stuff right now, because they're all in the Sky Striker Salaman Great hype. And uh, Maximus just like does good versus uh, Salad and versus Sky Striker. The only sad thing about Salad is that you send out Mirages, so they get like this protection. Uh, Fleur de Lee, because you want to have two interruptions off of your Nadir every time. Uh, Cyber Egg Angel, pretty nice card. Uh, Nail Shadow Ariel. Uh, this is one of your win conditions, actually. Uh, I've gone to using this way more than I would actually use Inthus because this takes care of so much stuff going around in this format, like virtual world grave spells, sky striker spells, and grave ray, uh, salad spells, uh, dragon links. Sometimes you want to banish their lights. Uh, then you can also banish Drytrons. So this is okay versus Drytron. But all in all, I have to say that Drytron is your worst matchup with this specific build, because this build barely plays hand traps. And the reason why I barely play hand traps is because uh, like you won't you won't always face against Drytron, first of all. And second of all, like if you face against anything but Drytron, you don't really need the hand traps to win. You rather want to like use your aggro tools like Brianak and Unicorn and Intus and Nadir and Triple Tactics, as well as Gamma, because Gamma is the best card. Uh, just to uh, out, uh, just like to break their board. And if you break their board, they like usually have kind of a lack of follow-up due to you having the ability to take their follow-up with Ariel. And that is like your main game plan when you go second. You don't need those hand traps unless you face against a deck that literally negates every card in your hand. <clears throat> Direct wrong. Uh, then for Necro's cards, one Klaus, triple Brio, triple Unicorn. Uh, then also one Psycho and two Mirror. Uh, what, uh, two Kaleidoscope. Mirror is not in the deck. Uh, screw that card. Uh, it's honestly horrible. Unless we get like new Necros support, I don't see myself playing Mirror or Trishula for the time being. Because like both cards are pretty bricky, especially if you want to go first. Like You can s make an argument for siding them, but if you side them, it's like you could also just side better going second cards. And then also we are running Ritual Sanctuary for the combo. A Diviner is still like really nice with this combo, and Ritual Sanctuary can just I I have have had games where I resolved Nadir four times. Imagine resolving Nadir's servant four times. And that is just like absolute retardation. Uh triple prep, triple tactics talents as a triple. Uh, this card is overall awesome, specifically with Caught by the Grave. If you open Caught by the Grave plus Triple Tactics, it's just so cheesy. Like, you take their hand trap, and then you take another card, and they are, like, starting their turn with four cards, and you have a Unicorn set up. And, like, that is, like, a really shit situation. And then also Triple Gamma and the Driver. Uh, most cards in your deck are uh, cards that act... Uh, most of your monster effects activate in hand. 
or like most of the cards that your opponent wants to negate activate without putting a monster on field the only uh cards that like really suck to be hand trapped uh while having gamma are specifically uh these seven here and anything else like does not even matter technically also this but this is not that relevant uh then i said cycle kaleido kaleido and dogmatic calamity and also we're playing the white knight of dogmatica the reason why i did the sorting is because these cards are the ones that you don't really want to draw specifically the white knight of dogmatica because if you draw him Nadir loses the option to add Herald unless you somehow discard him, and you don't have any discard outlets for him. Uh, then, uh, for the final three cards, Triple Dogmatic of Punishment. This is something I'm testing right now, uh, because I thought, like, the best way you can get to Punishment is by hard drawing one of them. And if you play a lot of them, you will probably hard draw one, which is pretty nice. Also, this is a premier side-out target, and... All in all, pretty solid. Then for the side deck, uh, Cycle Reader, Droll. Uh, those both cards are just tribute to the Drytron hate. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone two times and one Harpy's Feather Duster. Sometimes you play versus back row decks, happens. And Cosmic is really good versus Sky Striker and decent versus other matchups. And you may want to side in one of them just because Drytron players like to side Mystic Mine because the card works so well on their deck. And then one Harpy's Feather Duster uh, for extra hard back row hate. And then triple evenly. This is good against certain boards. Like, if your opponent overcommits to, um, like, let's say their Sky Striker setup, evenly match can be devastating. But evenly match can be also devastating against, like, let's say a full Dino combo board. Because you can like use one spell to bait everything, and then you just evenly them. And then uh, for going first, I'm actually citing triple summon limits. This is specifically against dangerous combo decks, because sometimes you just want to have this insurity that you can play. And also your deck can really well play under summon limit because you don't do gigantic combos. And like, like, like the greatest combo you do is your turn one setup with Diviner, which is five summons. And like in, in your light game plan, after that, you flip the summon limit. And then you usually just like normal summon Ecclesia, special summon Maximus, Maximus outboard, attack. And then that's about it. So that's all you like really need. And then for our extra deck, double app cologne. Uh, awesome. Just just so broken, this card. Then uh, Elder Entity Ints twice. One Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. Uh, this is one of the Prosperity Banishes. Because if you activate Prosperity, banish six, you banish him, and then you got, and, and they somehow like throw a hand trap, you, you have the ability to gamma them, and then summon Omega. And if you uh, resolve Omega, and, like if you resolve Gamma into Omega, you can like wait till the your st uh, till their standby phase and shuffle this back into the graveyard, and then you can uh, use this to pop. And then you can do that every turn as long as you have an Omega in circulation on your field or in your banished pile. Uh, one Titanic Clad. Sometimes I wish I played two, but honestly, playing one is fine. Triple Heralds, one Omega, one totally awesome, because sometimes this comes up. Almirage, because this comes up way too much. Then one Line of the Light Charmer. Uh, this card can search you uh, your Ecclesia or your Diviner if you crash into your opponent. So keep that in mind. It's pretty neat. Then Selene. Uh, she can summon back your Dogmatica monsters, and you even get your effects off them, which is awesome. And then I play a top a Logic Bomber Dragon. You can play like literally any Link uh, Link for like honestly, you could just play Axis Code Talker, 
But I play top of logic bombers just so that I have a 3,000 attack monster in my extra deck. Uh, you could also play Unchained Abomination. You could play uh, Borlo Dragon. There, there are a lot of options that you can play. But like, if you don't have an access code, just play this. I currently don't have an access code, uh, so I play this. Yeah. Uh, so this is like the deck build. It's honestly pretty decent. It has issues with uh, like extreme combo decks because I don't side that many hand traps. So if you like expect to play versus combo decks, you may like want to side like this. Uh, but otherwise, I would strongly recommend that you go for uh, that that you try to punish all the Sky Striker and Salatman great players with this list. All in all, uh, I'm pretty happy with the list so far. I, also, for everybody that is keeping on asking for deck profiles, uh, it's really important to recognize this. But I change my deck list like every two, three, four days. And this is my current one. I always adjust like some minor things like the side deck mostly. And sometimes I play around with the main deck. Uh, for example, I experimented with uh, the Dragoonity engine because I was looking uh, to uh, find more strong starter cards. I was also experimenting with a rocket engine to get into Pepega Ruler. Uh, but like, I encourage you to experiment with tech choices, but like it, if you could keep anything, uh, while building the stack, uh, I would definitely like recommend that you at least keep, uh, this core, like, and like not change a single card about this core. And then you can like go on and change additional cards. Like, but all in all, I really recommend uh, playing the triple tactics right now because people are playing lots of control decks and control decks lo uh, run lots of hand traps. And yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys have a nice day and uh, see you.